Kevin, going into this just over time frame, what did you guys as a team discuss and just kind of what was the main point of emphasis that kind of helped you guys pull this one out down the stretch? CT said it. Uh, T.Y. said it. Let's, let's get kills. And the kill for us is three stops in a row. And we started that um, that overtime with three stops in a row allowed us to get out and make some shots. Um, and that's what our defense and that's what our standards is. We want to get stops at the end of the game. And we didn't get stops all the way through the game. But those fourth quarter, that second quarter, 21 points. I believe the fourth quarter, we held them 21 points. And then overtime, we just had to be resilient, stay with our game plan. And Nick was huge uh, with those block shots. And then everybody coming back and getting rebound. You mentioned Nick, and Nick was battling the nasal fracture with the mask, without the mask. Just what did you see from him, especially with that block to end regulation, the blocks that he had in that overtime frame? Yeah, he's just mentally tough. Um, even goes back when, you know, he was back home in the Milwaukee game. He came back and, and flew in when he was sick. So just showing leadership. He's showing that he's a, he's a leader and captain of our team. And, you know, we need guys to continue to step up and be that and not just talk about it, but be about it. He's showing it with action, not just only words. So very proud of him, just very proud of the team. Um, everybody came in, everybody was still locked in, no matter what decisions I made, um, what rotations I went in, everybody was locked in, and that's what the team is all about. Defensively, just besides Nick's plays, I think Schroeder had a steal that led to the play before Nick had the block. Doe with the steal that pretty much sealed the game. Just mm -hmm. how big was it on a night where Cam and Poole go off that your defense was the key that won this game? How big was that? Oh, that's big. That's what we've been working for all year, and that's what we've been, you know, telling our guys. And, you know, they're getting some fruit for their labor, and that's what it's all about. You just never know when it's going to blossom, um, but you got to keep planting seeds, and that's what they're doing. But I just love their energy, talking, pointing. That's how we keep throwing punches. And, Poole was going off. He was he was having fun out there, but we got Cam Thomas, and I knew we would get stops at the end, and that's exactly what we did. Kevin, obviously you don't want the Wizards shooting 50 percent of the field, but you know, to the point you just made, what was just at the end of the day like watching good basketball? I was watching good basketball. What do you think of that duel between Cam and Jordan tonight? Um, yeah, it was. I mean, that's that's cool. Uh, it was great basketball. Um, you know, CT did a great job first half court mapping. Uh, two and then when he started getting double he was getting off the ball too so that just shows growth in him um, I believe he has six assists at at halftime so it just shows growth with uh, CT and how he's getting better and you have matchups like that but <clears throat> everybody knows and I think you know a lot of people go to the park and just say let's play one-on-one -on -one. this game is five on five and you got to understand that you can have a duel but it's still four other teammates out there and we did a good job um, in overtime finding our other teammates if CT couldn't get it. CT got to the basket a couple of times, didn't get the call, but we got back on defense and got the stops. Definitely don't like 50%, um, but I'm going to take a win when we can get it in the NBA. Did you get to see the cherry blossoms while you're in town, Coach? Yeah, that's what I said. Like we, we, we need some blossom of our seeds too, so <laughs> we finally got some blossom for us. So I like, I like D.C. and the cherry blossoms. Kevin, during pregame, I asked you about what you wanted to see from your team when it comes to growing. You mentioned just the turnover numbers, just to have eight turnovers coming off of that Raptors game. Just what did you just like about the way that they were able to kind of <coughs> take care of the ball and not give too many up extra possessions? I mean, that's huge. That's what we talk about. I didn't want to oversaturate it with them, but, you know, our goal was to get 10 uh, less turnovers uh, in this game, and they did it. And that's the key to our victory, you know, eight turnovers, um, getting quality shots up, um, everybody produced, you know, um, just a, a team effort. And that's why I want these guys to have collective spirit. And then we had a competitive stamina. You know, I played the guys a lot of minutes, um, and they just had that competitive stamina to keep making plays on the offensive end, but most importantly on the defensive end. And I'm just very proud of them. You know, I keep saying that. I'm just very proud of them um, because they've been through a lot. You mentioned Cam. Obviously, these last few games, you know, we've talked about his rebounding tonight. We talked about his assist. Are you guys starting to see him now as much as he's able to get the ball in the bucket? Are you starting to see him more just do those other things that can make his game more expansive besides just being a great shot maker? Yes. Um, you know, I keep talking about it. I don't know if y'all listening, but I'm, I see it every game. Um, he's getting better and better at it. And I keep talking about court mapping and and pattern recognition. You know, you got to understand how guys are playing you. 
and you got to use your teammates, but then you can also use your God-given talent to go in one-on-one. But it's a five-on-five five five game, and you got to see that. And he's just doing a better job at it, getting comfortable. I'm playing him at the point some. I love him at the point. Um, and he gets he gets everybody involved. He's doing a great job. He just give us another added dimension out there if I can get him some points, some minutes at the point. And he just – finding backside all of our plays and he's coming off and making the right reads. That's that's pattern recognition and that's basketball IQ. And that's what you need. You can you can manipulate the game or exploit the game, I should say instead of manipulate it, exploit the game where it's different matchups you can bring in and he's controlling that and he's doing a great job and his teammates know it. You know, his teammates saying C T bring it up and control the game for us. Thanks, Kevin. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.